Hi, I'm Matt Vanacoro, and today we're going to take a look at some cool things you can do with the Samson Graphite M25 controller. This mini keyboard controller from Samson, in addition to having 25 notes, has a bank of eight rotary encoders that we can assign to just about anything. We've also got four touch sensitive drum pads, as well as transport controls right underneath them. Over here on the left, they've done something interesting. Samson has replaced the traditional pitch wheel and modulation wheel with pitch bend and modulation touch strips. This makes it really great for its portability because now I don't have to worry about those knobs getting broken inside of a laptop bag, which they'd be prone to do if you were tossing this in really quickly. So I can use a, a synth, for example, and use modulation to just control the cutoff of the synth. Simply by sliding my finger gently up and down. And pitch bend works the same way. They have the center marked off with a dot there. And you can get some cool little effects by tapping and releasing the touchpad as well. So it kind of offers you a whole new paradigm to use in that little pitch bend touch strip area. All right, let's jump into some of these controllers. So let's say I'm in Logic and I want to use the transport buttons to actually transport. Well, it's pretty simple to get them to do that. All I have to do is I go to Logic and I open up the key commands window. And under key commands, I've got these global commands like record, play, stop, pause, all those things. And they have a pretty simple MIDI learn function. I have rewind selected. I'm gonna hit learn new assignment and I hit the rewind button right there. And I'll do that the same for fast forward. We'll learn the stop button as well. And then we'll go to play or play or stop. And then finally the record button. Looks like it's working already. That's it. And now I can control my transport using the transport controls. Hit play. I can record, lay down some tracks. Stop it. Go back to the beginning. Everything that I want to do. And these buttons do light up when you hit them. If we look to the side there, you can see. And I can change the behavior of that light up if I decide, ooh, I want the play button to toggle instead of being momentary. It's very simple to do in their editor, and we'll take a look at that a little bit later. But since we're programming, let's keep doing it. Let's program some of these rotary knobs to actually do something. So let's say I want this knob here to control the pan of that synth that I'm working on. Just as simple as clicking on the pan and then going to Logic Menu and then opening up control surfaces, and you'll see it says learn assignment for pan. It automatically knows the last thing I clicked. All I do is turn it, and that's it. It's learned. It was that simple. I now control the pan. Volume is the same. I can click on the volume strip underneath, and then go to key commands, or control surfaces, learn the assignment for volume turn it, and it's ready to roll. Now I'm controlling the volume. One of the great things is that some of these are pre-assigned to pan and volume on some of the presets. There's a few different presets for the Samson Graphite that we'll look at, so you might not even have to do that. It might be assigned automatically if you haven't opened the preset, but uh, you know you can just assign it really quickly if you want to. So let's take a look at that graphical editing interface. We've got the Graphite Mini Editor here, and as you can see, I've got the transport controls right now assigned to nothing, these undefined MIDI control changes. And I did that so that they don't interfere with anything else. But if I wanted to use those transport controls with another software program, say Pro Tools, Pro Tools doesn't have the ability to MIDI learn the transport buttons. It's expecting MIDI machine control. So I can assign these one at a time to MIDI machine control messages like rewind, fast forward, stop, play, and record. But then I'm going to lose my ability to control logic, and that's where these presets come in. So to activate a preset, I hit the preset button right here, and then pick one through four on the drum pads. I've already made an assignment that has those mapped to MIDI machine control under preset three. So if we take a look, I will grab it from the device. Let's load preset three up in front of us. There they are. And now those are MIDI machine control commands. So anytime I'm in Pro Tools, I just go to preset 3, and this is working. 
And if I'm in logic, I go to preset one and it works. So it's great that that's why I would use presets with this, even though there's no sounds in this controller, the presets are control presets that allow me to do some different things. Let's open up Pro Tools and check it out. All right, I've got Pro Tools up in front of me. And the MIDI controller is responding as expected, but the play and stop buttons aren't. As I said, what I've got to do is I've got to load up preset three. I'll hit the preset button and go to three. Now those buttons are transmitting MIDI machine control messages. All I need to do is tell Pro Tools to expect them. So I'll go to Setup and choose Peripherals, go to Machine Control, and enable MIDI machine control. I hit OK, and I'm ready to go. I hit Play, and there it goes. I can hit Stop, I can skip forward, I can even arm a track, arm everything for record, hit record, and then start going. All the control functions that I've learned and come to expect from Logic are there in Pro Tools, same way. Another neat thing I can do is let's open up the drums track. Now I've got this drum track here. I'm not quite in the right octave for that. I could shift octaves. which is cool. Or I could use these drum pads to just do a quick drum part. But they're not really assigned to the right octave or right notes that I want. Well again, it's as simple as opening up that Graphite Mini Editor. Now in this case, I already have a setup ready for that. Let's take a look at it. I'm gonna go to preset two and take a look at my drum pads. And I see I've got it assigned to C2, E2, F sharp, and A sharp. So that's going to give me a nice kick, snare, and hi-hat if I hit those buttons. And as we said, they are touch sensitive. I can go nice and easy or really hard. So we can program them really quickly to be able to play drum parts, or I can go back to my... Pro Tools MIDI Machine Control preset and play and control from there, combine them into one preset, whatever I want to do. It's really up to me and it's pretty, pretty great. You could even use this to control live parameters of a synth or sampler software. So let's take a look at that. So I've got Mach 5.3 in front of me, a very powerful sampler and synth engine. And what I want to do is control control some of the parameters of the synth in Mach 5.3 with these knobs, maybe even some of the effects. And most sampler and synth engines give you the ability to MIDI learn just about any parameter. So we can change the octave of this second waveform. I right click it and I just hit MIDI learn and I'll turn a knob and that's it, it's learned. Wow, almost an Emerson Lincoln Palmer sound. The sample and hold, really cool. I can go into the effects window and modulate some of the effects with that. I'll right click this Phaser speed, MIDI learn. Let's MIDI learn this knob here. There we go. Now I can really set my phasers to stun, so to speak. So I can do some really cool things live with this. And I can make this setup a preset and switch presets for that. So even if I had more things on the screen, all these knobs, I've got more knobs on the screen than I can control with just these eight knobs, but it doesn't have to be that way because I can make this preset a different one and these eight knobs become eight different MIDI control change messages. So I could literally control way more things than I even have for knobs. It's a great handy little device. It's extremely portable and durable. I'm having a lot of fun with it. The Samsung Graphite M25. I'm Matt Banacoro, and I hope you check it out.